Hey there YouTube, Blator Awesome here, and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last part, we got here to Mount Moon with Bucky, and we also bought a Magikarp from some weird dude who was selling one. Um, in this part, we're going to go through Mount Moon. Hold on. Just a second. Okay, I'm here in the Pewter City Pokemart to buy some very helpful items. Repels. Repel will prevent any Pokemon that is a lower level than... I'll just buy seven for now. Then your lead Pokemon from appearing. It will prevent wild battles, basically. Uh, it will prevent them for 100 steps for regular repels. Other repels are better. Um, I also could recommend getting an escape rope for this, but I don't need one. So Mount Moon, I highly recommend getting repels for, unless you're doing Pokemon ratings like I was in Fire Red Omega. Okay, see you back at the entrance to Mount Okay, we're back. Um... Now, in Fire Red Omega, I went through every little square inch of this place. Mount Moon. Um, and it took, like, two and a half episodes. In this run, however, um, Bucky's kind of high-leveled, and I have other guys, I'm still getting TM09 for Bullet Seed, I have other guys that I'm planning on using later who could use some level-ups from a place like Mount Moon. So I'm not doing this now. Um, what I am going to do is come back here, because there is a point not too far in the... Whoops, did not mean to do that. And of course the repel runs out. There is a point not too far into the future where you can come back to Mount Moon and go through the whole thing. And that is what I'm going to do. So I am going to skip every trainer I possibly can, including that hiker who would have been a giant pain with Bucky. And... Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to do this the quickest way possible, basically. So follow this route if you don't feel like, well, getting all the items and finding all the trainers. Although I am getting some items. They're, you know, on the way or revive. Um, you know, the Moonstone is good to get and stuff. And can I avoid you? I think I can. I'm going to try. Yep, I could. So, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna fight all these guys later. Just don't feel like doing it right now. Um, and, you know, Bucky's already high enough level. Um, so, yeah, it took me, you know, more than two episodes to get here in Fire Red Omega. Yeah, and it's taken me three minutes this time. So, um, yeah, you can go through this place really, really quickly if you want to. And I want to, because today I plan on catching my second team member, and it's not somebody that you can find in Mount Moon. So, as Bucky murders this younger, weaker Rattata to prove his dominance over his own species, because, in case you didn't know, Bucky's in the top percentage of all Rattata! Ha 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 ha! That's a youngster Joey um, reference, who's this kid... Gold, silver, crystal, heart, gold, soul, silver. And also black and white. He made an appearance, but he didn't have a ratata, and it wasn't in the top percentage, which made me mad. Anyway, um... It made me mad, I made him mad. Okay! So, moving right along, getting another free moonstone. And... Gonna fight you! Guy... And he found these fossils, and they're both his. Blah de blah de blue. The bah and stuff. And this is the super nerd that confused me in my Omega run, which I think that video. Well, I just recorded that video like a minute ago. So. Oh, see, this is why I don't like Hyper Fang! I hate you, poison gas. You have. You have. You have hurt my soul. Anyway, uh, the Omega Run, I just recorded the episode where I did all this, so I kind of feel like I'm doing the exact same thing I just did, only with Bucky instead of, well, three team members. Um, so, I don't really feel like healing that poison just yet. Uh, I'm just going to have Bucky continue to kill stuff until I have to heal it. And, yeah, I might have to do that. Um, but at this point, this is really kind of easy, because Bucky is overleveled, and... Ooh, my, a Voltorb. 
Um, <laughs> I really, really hope I hit this thing. Because if I don't, uh, it might have. Oh man, it's fast. Uh, yeah, Voltorb has like super duper duper high speeds. So Rattata is. Wow, Rattata is pretty fast, and he got out of bed. So yeah. Anyway, there goes the boss of Mount Moon, and I'm gonna try to get out of Mount Moon in less than six minutes. Um, but first, must heal Bucky. Of poison. Yeah, I don't really care about the rest. Um, yeah, gonna get the Helix Fossil this time, because I got the Dome Fossil before, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, this guy got that Fossil. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Want to get out. Yeah, I found an antidote! Can I do it? Can I do it? Under six minutes for Clary Mount Moon! Yeah, I did, no problem. Um, so yeah, that was Mount Moon. Lator Awesome Leaf Green style, yo. Um, yeah, these two are move tutors. He will teach you Mega Punch, which is a normal type move with 80, attack, 80 power and 80 accuracy and 20 PP. He'll teach you Mega Kick, which has 120 power, 70 accuracy, and 5 PP. Also a normal type move. Don't get him. Unless you, like, desperately need a normal type move. Um, or are, like, soloing with Charmander, because it might be a little bit helpful in the upcoming gym to have Mega Punch. Or mega kick. And I guess if you have a Mankey and uh, want to teach it one of those moves, that could be kind of helpful. But nine times out of ten, no. Just no. So anyway, you can get a TM05 for Roar, and Omega, the trainer over there, and the item were switched. So I fought her in the Omega run, and I got the free item in this one. And is there... No, there is no fishing place over there. See, I knew there wasn't. So, if you go past... This ledge over here, and I'm about to jump over. You won't be able to get back to Mount Moon or anything before it for quite some time. So, um... That was a Pokemon cry. Anyway, so don't jump over this ledge if you're not ready to move ahead. I am, though! Because in this patch of grass, I will be catching my next team member. And I don't... Is it a Spearow? Is it... I haven't raided Spearow yet. Huh. Interesting. I will eventually. But no, it's not a Spearow. Um, yeah, I already have a flying type planned. And it isn't Spearow. Is it this? Is it another Rattata? Am I going to catch another Rattata to pair with but? No, yeah, I'm just gonna pause until I find him. There he is! There's my new team member! Yes, it's Sam True! I love this guy! He's, like, so adorable and cuddly and stuff. He's just like, yeah. Plus, I could use a ground type. It's good and stuff. And, um, yeah, this Sandshrew is really low level, which, um, could be a pain, I guess. Uh, because I'm going to have to grind him up a lot. But, I don't really care. Um, I love Sandshrew. I think he's just, you know, he's not a very good Pokemon, so he fits this run where I'm not using very, very good Pokemon. Um, but he's, I, I, I've just been, always been a huge Sandshrew fan, so I want to use one, like, now. So, yeah, um, this is the first one I found. I really wish she had been at a higher level, but, oh well. Um, yeah. Hopefully this Pokeball will catch him. Three. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Gotcha. Sandshrew was caught. Yay. Um. So Sandshrew burrows deep underground in arid locations far from water. It only emerges to hunt for prey. Yeah, arid means dry. Anyone who didn't know that. And yes, I will be giving you a nickname because you are the second member of my team. And no, I do not have a nickname yet. So... Hold on. Sandshrew, I hereby dub thee Fluffums! Yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense at all, and that is why it is his name. Um, yeah, he's gonna be Fluffums the male Sand Slash once he evolves. Once you see what Sand Slash looks like, you will understand that that is a completely ridiculous name for a Sand Slash to have. Um, so yay, we're in pure- wait, hold on, I didn't do that entrance right. 
I'm entering Cerulean City! Yay! It's... It has a Pokemon Center, which is where I'm going immediately because I'm all tired and hurt and stuff. Anyway, um, so yeah, I now have a Rattata named Bucky and a Sandshrew named Fluffums. Nope, doesn't make any sense to me either. Um, but also because if certain people I know who, like, might watch these videos, watch this and see a Sandshrew named Fluffums, they will be like, yay. What am I doing? Oh, right. It is time to grind. Because I really don't want to do that on camera. And I need Sandro here. Fluffums. Ooh, Lonely Nature. That's, that's plus attack, I think. Um, I need Fluffums here to be at least level 15, I think. So Bucky will probably level up a couple times. I'm going to keep him under level 20, though. So grinding away off camera because that would just be a waste of time. It's just going to be Bucky or Fluffums taking on stuff and then switching out to Bucky if he needs help. Okay! Second wild encounter. Level 10 Sandshrew. Really? Uh, curse my luck. Curse it I say! Okay! About 20 minutes later, uh, like 60 trips to the Pokemon Center and lots of critical hits and stuff, Fluffums is now at level 15, which means he's ready to, like, join the real battles and stuff. Uh, along the way, he learned Sand Attack, which is a very annoying move and I'm going to take full advantage of. Um, along the way, Bucky also hit level 19 and some, um, he didn't get anything new. What the, uh, I thought his hyper fangs were messed up there. And Magikarp and Bellabasaur just kind of sat there and looked pretty. Actually, Magikarp fought a Sandshrew for a while because I accidentally switched him in because I was playing at 800% speed. So, um, I don't really have time to do anything else major today. There's the gym. Running away from the gym. Um, but I am going to talk to this girl, whose slow bro is always disobedient. And then I'm going to go in this house and talk to this guy. Too much time, too little to do. Uh-huh. Yes, there are entertaining things happening like this. Um, at least I hope this is entertaining. It's entertaining to me. And that house has no door. <gasps> it's like, uh, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't even care. It's too hot to make any jokes. Um, yeah, I've been sitting here for now. An hour without any sort of air conditioning touching me. Um, yeah, this guy will tell you what the badges do, but I don't care about him. Uh, back here, there is a hidden item in one of these little spots. I know there is. There it is. It's rare candy. Yay. Um, over there is a bridge. Next episode, we're going to be going on to that bridge. Definitely. Um... But not today, because there's an event there that will take far too long. So today I'm just going to wander around the houses in Cerulean City, just kind of show it off a little bit. This guy talks about, like, berry powder or something. It's like a feature that I have never once used, and I'm fairly certain you can't use on an emulator. So anyway, um, this guy in this house, him, he wants to trade a Jinx for a Poliwhirl. Jinx is creepy looking and Poliwhirl is awesome, but this is the only place you can get a Jinx in the main game, or, yeah, in the games, um, in Leaf Green. So, yeah, if you want a Jinx, get a Poliwhirl somehow and trade it with that old guy. So, anyway, um, a police officer, let's talk to him! People who were robbed, and it was Team Rocket that did it. We fought one Rocket Grunt so far, and they give you trouble? But like, easy and weak. Anyway, next time, we will be going that way. So, yeah. This time, we, well, beat Mount Moon in like five minutes. Well, six, but that included a minute of prep time, I think. And also got our second team member, Fluffums the Sandshrew, and grinded him. Which wasn't on screen, but was a good chunk of my time nonetheless. Okay, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you next time!